In the beginning of time, the land was a dazzling paradise, filled with abundant creatures and trees of life. But when man came, the evil spirits drove the guarding spirits out of this land and allowed the sun to burn this land and everything in it. To this day, the evil spirits have claimed this land as their own, giving it a name that all would fear. Makosika, the Bad Land. Filled with a plethora of astounding rock formations and sedimentary columns, Makoshika State Park is the largest of Montana's state parks, and it is the oldest formation of badlands in North America. It is part of the larger geologic region of eastern Montana known as the Hell Creek Formation, which is basically a slice of the geologic timescale. It contains a region of layers that made up the surface of the Earth between 100 million and 56 million years ago. Today, most of the Hell Creek Formation lies as massive badlands, and it is famous for what can be found inside the rocks that appear neatly stacked for miles on end. Creatures that met a dismal end are molded into stones and revealed by harsh rainstorms and other forms of erosion. This is a prehistoric graveyard. The native Lakota creation story at the beginning does speak to some truths about this area. However, since the extinction of the dinosaurs, Makoshika has seen a refreshing era of life. Many members of its unique ecosystem are seldom seen at the height of day. But when daylight fades, Makoshika awakens. With less threat from humans at night, wildlife can safely come out from hiding. Owls perch to feed on small rodents, while the chipmunks hide from the talons. The coyotes howl and bark under the moonlight. It is at this point that this barren land becomes an ecosystem when the nocturnal souls waken. As the sun rises over the plastered hills, stories of the night can be revealed from hints and clues left in the dust. New prints are now etched in the ground. For experts, these clues tell an obvious story. This evidently shows that Makoshika isn't just a treasure trove of prehistoric fossils from the past. It is still creating fossils in the present, and will continue to do so in the future. And we, as spectators, are watching this before our very eyes. But Makoshika's secrets, while hidden from the road, read like an open book to the adventurous. One of the most amazing things about Makoshika State Park is the freedom. There are trails, but it is permissible to wander off trail and look around for your own fossil sightings. But if you want to travel off trail, be prepared. Know your landscape and bring the proper gear to walk on the sediment. It is highly dangerous to walk this wild terrain since rainstorms and runoff create extremely fragile caves which are not always visible. 
watching where your foot lands may be the difference between life and death. This is how these hills were created. Constant erosion by the world's most destructive force. Because of these powerful streams, the surfaces of the past are revealed. The hills of Makoshika are made of layers, each showing different events in Earth's global history. The lower the layer is, the older it is. Now exposed to the elements once more, visitors can essentially travel back in time to see a world that is almost incomprehensible. There is one layer among the higher hills that appears more vividly than any other. It is dark and thick and cannot be ignored. Something devastating happened to the earth when this layer was the surface. An extinction event like none other. This marks the end of the reign of the dinosaurs. 66 million years ago. The Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary is one of the most significant layers of the Earth's crust. Any sedimentary layers below the KPG boundary have a probability of holding dinosaur fossils. Its dark color is caused by a high concentration of iridium, which is a very rare element to find on Earth naturally, but is extremely abundant in asteroids. This sediment is proof of the ultimate prehistoric tragedy. A tragedy that quite literally shook the entire planet when the asteroid we know as Chicxulub impacted Earth and brought an end to the dinosaurs. It is humbling to realize the frailty of our nature. How life as we know it could all be gone in moments. And how our home is always changing. Near the end of the Cretaceous period, Makoshika sat at the very edge of the inland sea. Unlike the towering mountains in the Bob, this land was able to harbor the lives and see to the deaths of much larger creatures. This truly used to be a promised land. Much more of the Cretaceous period is visible down in the steep sediment canyons. Fossils of small sea creatures can be found here naturally. But as water has washed away dirt and cluttered the flow of time, fossils from later periods can also be found down below. Walking through these gulches makes you feel like you're walking in those time periods. It feels like a completely different planet. And in all technicality, it is. Imagine touching each individual layer with your fingertips and think about what may have touched that very same soil millions of years ago. The fragile nature of time is so plainly visible in Makoshiga. It is beautiful and yet so very frightening. When walking in the valley of the past, it is easy to forget how large this area is and how diverse it can be. But from above, a different story is told, one of abundance of life. Above the eroding sediment is what appears to be a completely different biome 
with thriving evergreens and thick grass. This is the newest sediment in Earth's life, fruitful in its own unique way. Something unfamiliar to the ear can be heard through the forest, a sound that would draw anything near it just out of pure confusion. As odd as it seems, this sound is actually from a thriving colony of toads, perhaps in the last place most would think to find them. They are hidden from sight, but their tone is deafening. Roaming above the ancient layers of time also allows you to see the big picture. The Earth is not a simple ball of rock. It is a complex body that, in a geological sense, changes drastically and quickly. Where these vast plains now roll, a great beachfront once lay. Where the western mountains now tower, a flat ocean bed once sat. The sun now sets on the other side of Makoshiga, a side that is more eroded since it faces west away from the flowing of water. The positioning of this part leads to more breathtaking sights of erosion, such as this natural bridge. The trail snakes its way through the stream beds to bring you to this wonder. This rock has stayed in this state for hundreds of years, as the soft ground under it has swiftly been washed down into the crevasses. Walking among the sediments and fossils of Makoshika gives visitors a new perspective of Montana's eastern land. Makoshika State Park is less about preservation and more about observation. In 100 years, Makoshika will look completely different. And in a thousand years, it may be completely gone. But that's the beauty of it. Its fleeting nature doesn't just characterize the overlooked adventure and opportunity in eastern Montana. It defines the process of time for all of the earth.